Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Juliano over at Boss Labs. So today we're continuing the Our Logo on Things series. In the first video we went over designing and printing our own custom business cards. And in this video we'll be going over designing a custom tote bag. Once again we'll be going over how to use an online service to get it produced. This time through the print on demand service, Printful. So being based out of New York City we see a lot of plastic bags. Most coming in one of two flavors. A running joke here at Boss Labs is that the have a nice day happy face doesn't look too happy. Almost like it doesn't really want you to have a nice day. And the smile looks almost forced. So we based our tote bag on a fusion of those two designs with the phrase have a day. Now when I put this together I used Adobe Illustrator. But since the template that is provided is a PSD and more people have access to Photoshop, we'll tackle the design using Photoshop. Like I went over in our business card video, using a template supplied by the printer is the easiest way to make sure that our created good looks correct. Since we'll be using Printful to make a tote bag, let's go to Printful.com and under Products, go to Accessories, Tote Bags. We'll be designing an all over print tote that is 15 by 15, so let's select that one. If we scroll down a bit, we can see a Get Print File Template link where we can download our starter template. The download comes with a PSD file, so let's get that open. With our template open, we can see that our tote bag will be double-sided, so we'll get our design once it's done and mirror it to the other side. The main part of our design will fit inside of the red safe print area and the rest inside of the blue-green area. We'll start off by setting a couple of center guides by showing our ruler. And making sure it's set to percentage. We'll drag in a horizontal and vertical guide from the ruler and align it to 50%. In the layers panel, we can see that our template is in the first instructions layer. We'll just be using this layer for reference, so we'll set the opacity to 50% and lock it. In the Placer Artwork Here group, we can begin to add our art. We'll set our background color by adding a solid color fill layer and choosing a black color. Using the Ellipse tool, we'll create an ellipse that is 1052 pixels in diameter. We'll remove the stroke and fill with a yellow color. In this example, I'll be using a hex value of E0A900. We'll align it to the center horizontally and push it up near the top of the safe area. Again, using the ellipse tool, we'll create a vertical ellipse for the eye. We'll fill it with black and align it. Duplicate the eye and enter free transform mode by pressing Ctrl or Command T. While in free transform, we can move the reference point or the anchor point to the center guideline. Then right click the ellipse and flip horizontally. We'll create a mouth by using the rectangle tool and rounding the corners by 50 pixels. Align it and rotate it. And we're done with our not so happy face. We'll duplicate the yellow ellipse and make it a bit bigger. Using the text tool, we'll hover over the ellipse until the icon changes to a dotted line and click. We'll type in our text change our font and font size.
Next, we'll align it by using the Path Selection tool and dragging our text to the inside of the ellipse and dragging it to the left or to the right to center it. We won't be needing the ellipse anymore, so we can delete it. To create the thank you background, we'll type out thank you and update the font property. We're going to give the text a white outline look, so we'll change the text color to black to match the background. Then, with our text layer selected, we go to Layer Style, Stroke. The settings for the stroke I used in our example was a size of 5 pixels, position of inside, and a white color. We'll duplicate our text five times to give us six instances of our thank you text. Then select our final copy and align it to the bottom. Now with all our copies selected, we can go up to our line settings and select Distribute Vertically. For ease in moving things, I'll group up our face graphic and text and our thank you background text. We can now move our thank you text to the back and change its opacity to 50%. We'll add our please don't recycle this bag text. Change the font and align it. We'll also add our Boss Labs logo. Resize it and align it. The front part of our design is complete, so we can group it together and duplicate it. With the copy of our design selected, we can once again move the anchor point to the middle. Right click and flip vertical. And finally, flip horizontal. We'll make sure that our copy design is aligned to our reference. And add one final Boss Labs logo at the bottom of the tote bag. Finally, we get to export our file, so let's make sure our instructions layer is off and go up to File, save a copy, and save our artwork as a JPEG as instructed in the documentation. Now back at the Printful website, we can click on the red Start Designing button and go to Choose File. 
and drag in our created JPEG. We'll click place and check out a mock-up of our design. The tote bag we created has black handles so we can go ahead and change that. And there is our custom tote bag ready to order. Well there you have it, creating a custom tote bag in Photoshop for print. Like I mentioned before, I find putting our designs on physical goods extremely rewarding and with print on demand web services, it's easier than ever to create a one-off or a small print run without having to shell out too much money. So like always, if you have any questions concerning what we talked about here today, or products you would like to see the design workflow for, hit us up in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one.